Eh, hey, awak. Awak yang tu lah. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita. Tanda sokongan. Terima kasih. Hai, Assalamualaikum. Jom kita revise sambil berehat. Sambil berehat pun, kita boleh belajar tahu dengan tengok handphone. Apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Jadi dalam video kali ini, kita nak buat lagi beberapa soalan dalam chapter 9. Dan jika anda pertama kali hadir ke channel ini, selamat datang saya ucapkan. Jika anda pernah hadir dan kembali semula, tahniah kerana rajin dan sudi kembali. Jadi dalam video kali ini, kita akan buatlah beberapa soalan berkaitan dengan chapter 9. Jom kita mula. So now let's start with the first example. So here we have a graph of displacement against time for an oscillator in simple harmonic motion with an angular velocity 3.5 radian per second. So here we have the amplitude which is the maximum displacement where A is equal to 6 centimeter. Alright, so we have omega equal to 3.5 radian per second. Okay, and then we have another one which is the amplitude. Alright, 6 centimeter. Okay, so now look at the first question. Write the equation of displacement in function of time. So we want to write the equation of displacement in function of time x. Okay, so kita tulis general equation. Okay, dalam syllabus awak, A is equal to sine omega t. Okay? So, since we have the value of omega here, 3.5, A pun kita dah ada. So, we just substitute x equal to 6 sine omega is 3.5 t. Okay? So, make sure you mention the unit where, okay, displacement. Okay? So, we can write displacement, okay, in centimeter, and time in seconds. Okay? Boleh? Alright, so next question for B. For this oscillator, sketch and label the graph of velocity against time. So we want to sketch the graph of velocity against time. But before that, make sure we write the equation of velocity in function of time. Okay, ini mesti tahu how to write the equation of velocity in function of time. So, as we know, in order to get the equation of velocity V, we need to differentiate equation of the displacement. Okay, so it is equal to d dt, okay, 6 sine 3.5t. Okay, so now look at here. So, we want to differentiate sine and always remember differentiate sine akan jadi cos, differentiate cos akan jadi negative sine. Okay, so sekarang saya nak differentiate dulu. Okay, where it is equal to 6. So, differentiate sine 3.5t. Okay, so trigonometry in order to differentiate sine Dia akan jadi cos 3.5t. Lepas itu, awak mesti differentiate lagi sekali yang dalam dia ni. Okay, respect to t. Alright. So, dia akan jadi equal to 6. Okay, ingat differentiate sign akan jadi cos. So, kita tulis balik dekat sini cos 3.5t. And don't forget to differentiate yang dalam bracket tu 3.5t. Okay, so differentiate 3.5t akan beri you nilai 3.5 lah. So, kita bawa ke depan, kita darabkan. So, dia akan jadi 6. So, darab 3.5. So, silent balik cos 3.5t. Okay. So, sekarang bila kita lihat dekat sini, equation V okay, adalah uh, in terms of cos graph. Alright, so kita nak sketch the graph of V against T. So, kita ada V here which is in centimeter per second. Sebab tadi kita tak tukar pun dalam meter kan. Okay. And then this is the uh, the y, sorry, the x axis T in seconds. So, the graph is cosine graph. So, graph cos adalah start daripada sini lah. Okay. So, dia akan jadi macam ni. Ha, lukis cantik-cantik. 
So here is the maximum velocity. So how to calculate the maximum velocity? So make sure we calculate first this one, 6 times 3.5. Okay, so kalau saya tulis general equation, V is equal to 6 times 3.5 should be equal to 21 cos 3.5t. Okay, so sekarang kita dapat equation lah. Di mana equation ini, inilah dia punya graph. Boleh? So kat sini kita mesti substitute 21. So this is 0. And here should be negative 21. Okay. Dan satu lagi jangan lupa. So the period. Okay T. Capital T. The time taken to complete one oscillation. So the period T make sure we calculate period T from omega. Since we already know that omega is equal to 2 pi over T. Therefore T is equal to 2 pi over omega. Okay, so omega kita dah tahu dah tadi nilai dia apa? This one, 3.5. Okay, so T is equal to 2 pi over 3.5. So T you akan dapat 1.8 seconds. Okay, so dalam graph bila kita sketch, alright, make sure you masukkan sekali, you tulis sekali, you label sekali T kat sini berapa. Okay, tadi kita dah dapat 1.8 second. Okay. So, finish B1. And how about graph of acceleration against time? Okay. So, for the second part. So, this is the first part. So, for the second part. So, we want to uh, construct a graph of acceleration against time A. So, we need to differentiate equation of velocity. Okay. Sama je macam tadi. Kita buat lagi sekali. So, V kita dah ada tadi. 21 cos 3.5t. Okay. Uh, so, differentiate cos akan jadi negative sign. So, dia akan jadi A, 21 negative sign, 3.5t. Okay. And then, don't forget to differentiate. Okay. 3.5t yang dalam bracket tu tadi. Okay. So, you akan dapat 21. So, negative 21 times 3.5. So, Sin 3.5t. Okay. So, tak muat ni. Saya gerakkan sikit ke kanan. Alright. So, the equation of acceleration should be equal to 21 times 3.5. So, you akan dapat negative 73, sorry, 73.5 sin 3.5t. Okay. So, tengok baik-baik dekat sini. Equation ni adalah Equation of graph negative sign. Okay. So, bila kita sketch our graph. Okay. So, this is the y-axis which is A centimeter per second squared. And then this is T in seconds. Okay. So, this is graph of negative sign. Ha, kalau graph sign yang biasa, dia macam ni betul. Okay. Tapi, this is graph of negative sign. Dia akan jadi terbalik lah. Kita inverse the graph. Okay, so dia akan jadi macam inilah. Okay, so uh, the maximum, okay, the maximum acceleration is 73.5. So, make sure you label here, okay, 73.5 and here also 73.5, negative. And this is the period, capital T is 1.8 second, Okay. So, we finish example number 1. So, let's proceed to example number 2. Alright, example number 2. So, here we have a small mass is suspended with a spring. The mass then released from the equilibrium position and being pulled down 4.5 cm from the equilibrium position. Okay. Okay. So, let's say here we have a spring. Okay. So, this is the spring for example. And let's say here is positive A. And this is the equilibrium position. Ataupun kita adjust sikit. Okay. So, or this one, it should be uh, equilibrium position. And this is negative A. Okay. Alright. So, at T is equal to 0 second. So, the position... Of the mass is at equilibrium position. 
Alright, and then the mass is pulled down 4.5 cm from its equilibrium position. Okay, so given that, okay, A, okay, the amplitude here is equal to 4.5 cm. Okay, uh, so daripada T equal to 0 second, lepas the object to moving downward lah. Okay, and also given here that the period, Okay, T is equal to 0.85 cm. Okay, jadi based on the question, if we try to sketch the graph X against T here. Okay, so when it start at T is equal to 0 here and then it will moving downward. So, kita ambil uh, downward motion as negative. So, lepas tu dia akan pergi ke negative A. Okay. And then it will come back to the uh, equilibrium position. And then they can oscillate sampai ke positive A. And then come back to uh, equilibrium position. Okay. And it took 0.85 seconds to complete. Okay. Yang ini sepatutnya 0.85 seconds. Okay. Alright. So now question A. Write an expression for the displacement X in terms of time T. Okay. So, kita nampak dekat sini graf kita adalah graf negative sign. Okay. So, kalau saya nak tulis dia punya equation. Okay. Saya boleh straightly write x equal to negative a sin omega t. Okay. Ha, ini adalah graf negative sign. Okay. Kalau graf positive sign sepatutnya dia akan start from zero. So, dia akan naik ke atas dulu lah. Pergi ke arah positif dulu. Okay. So, A kita dah ada. Cumanya kita kena cari omega lah. Kena kira tu pi over T. So, T kita dah ada dekat sini 0.85 seconds. And omega you should get 7.4. Okay. Radian per second. Therefore, the equation of X is equal to negative A kita dah tahu tadi. 4.5 sin omega 7.4 T. Okay. Where X in centimeter and T is in second. Okay. So, ini jawapannya lah. Okay. Kalau you perasan, saya nampak graf ini. This is the negative sign graph. Saya terus saja tulis negative sign. Okay. Mungkin ada pelajar yang tanya, boleh tak kita nak tulis equation ini in terms of positive sign graph? Jawapannya boleh but you need to consider the face angle. Okay, caranya macam mana? Jadi sekarang you kata you nak tulis equation bagi sistem ini in terms of positive sign equation. Jadi caranya adalah first step, okay. Awak lukis dulu graph of positive sign. Okay. So, graph positive sign macam ini. Kan? Ha, panjang lah. Okay. Alright. Sekejap. Okay. So, now we need to move the y axis to the left or to the right. In order to get this pattern of graph. Okay. Kita perlu gerakkan y axis kita ke kiri ataupun ke kanan. Untuk dapatkan bentuk seperti yang kita dah discuss tadi. Ini. Okay. So now we need to move the y axis to the right sebanyak pi. Okay. So when we try to move the y axis to the right by positive pi. Okay. Bila y axis bergerak ke kanan. So, the face angle should be positive pi. Okay. Ha, dia gerak sebanyak ini. Sebab apa? Sebab kita nak graf kita start daripada sini. Okay. Nampak eh? Okay. Ataupun you kata boleh tak kita nak gerakkan uh, the y axis to the left? Boleh. So, we need to move the y axis to the left. Okay. By negative pi. Okay. So, graf kita akan start daripada sini. So, you can see here that the pattern of the graph, kalau kita gerakkan paksi Y kita ke kanan by positive pi, ataupun kita gerakkan paksi Y kita ke kiri by, positive, sorry, by negative pi, 
So graf kita akan mula macam inilah sama macam pattern ini. Boleh? Okay. So uh, we can write the equation of this motion in terms of positive sign equation and it is equal to x equal to okay 4.5 sine 7.4t but we need to consider the phase angle so we have the phase shift here okay which is positive pi or negative pi okay ataupun kita boleh tulis 4.5 sin 7.40 negatif pi. Okay. Jadi ketiga-tiga equation ini, equation ini, equation ini ataupun equation ini menggambarkan bentuk graf yang sama iaitu ini. Okay. Jadi untuk menjawab soalan A, write an expression for the displacement x in terms of time t. Sebenarnya ketiga-tiga equation ni pun betul. Tetapi Kenapa kita nak susah-susah cari phase shift dia? Sedangkan bila kita tengok graf ini, kita nampak dah terus. Oh, this is the graph of negative sign. Kita tahu start from t equal to 0 second. So, the mass is moving downward at negative a. Okay, so kita nampak the pattern of the graph is the negative sign graph. Jadi, untuk memudahkan kita menjawab soalan, kita terus saja tulis equation kita in terms of negative sign graph. Boleh? Jadi yang bawah ini merupakan extra knowledge lah untuk awak. Bagaimana untuk kita tulis sesuatu equation itu okay, uh, dengan consider dia punya uh, phase shift ataupun phase angle seperti yang kita dah buat tadi. Boleh? Okay. So kita dah jawab soalan A. So ini jawapan dia lah. And then B. Sketch the graph of X against T. Alright? So actually saya dah dapat dah graph saya dekat sini. Cumanya, okay, untuk jawab soalan B ini, pastikan okay, y-axis awak labelkan sentimeter. So, ini labelkan. Okay. Dan jangan lupa amplitude of the graph also label as A. Masukkan nilai dia iaitu positive 4.5 and here should be negative 4.5. Boleh. Okay. Dan last sekali, jangan lupa untuk labelkan. The period capital T is equal to 0.85. Boleh? Alright. Okay. So next. So now we want to calculate what is the position of the mass after 0.5 seconds. Okay. So macam mana kita nak buat tu? Saya buat kat tepi ni sikit lah. Okay. C. So X is equal to okay, negative 4.5 sine 7.4. Okay, 7.4 T. Okay, so at T is equal to, berapa dia bagi tu? 0.5 seconds. So, we can just substitute in this equation. Okay, pastikan dalam chapter 9, calculator awak mesti dalam radian mode. Okay, ha, selesaikan dululah dalam ni. 7.4 times 0.5. Okay, and then finally you will get X is equal to 2.38 cm. Okay, make sure you punya calculator dalam radian mode. Okay, so kira. Jangan tekan calculator salah eh. Jangan tekan calculator sin 7.4. Ah, lepas tu baru you darabkan dengan 0.5. You buat ini dulu. Salah. Sin 7.4 times 0.5 salah lah. Okay, so you need to calculate first yang dalam ini. Okay, yang dalam, uh, apa nama ni? Dalam bracket ini. Okay, so the answer is 2.38 cm. Okay, so finish example number 2. So let's proceed to the next example.